Hey guys, it's Kina, and today I am back with Bleach episodes 11 and 12. I I think there's one more episode after this, right? And then we're moving on to the next part. And I don't know how to feel about that because I really do not want this to end. Lights! <laughs> I, like, I'm moving by this show so quickly. Like, I really just want to savor it, you know? But... I also want to watch and know what the hell is gonna happen. I feel excited, I feel upset that it's ending. I'm just like all over the place right now. A quick recap of the last two episodes. We met the Zanpakuto man himself, Owetsu. And yeah, and Ichigo is back at Karakura town. You know, he's back at home. Um, and he has to like go back to his roots basically. So I did make a note of like, I wonder what that means. Like back to his roots like the beginning beginning you know before he was born or anything or whatever that means um <laughs> anyways unohana is gone i guess because there can't be like two kenpachis at once right that whole fight was amazing i just loved how menacing unohana was and she looks so oh my goodness like i don't know i don't know if I've ever like said it outright, but my type of woman is anyone with long black hair. So yeah, Unahana. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. That's basically all that I wanted to talk about, I think. Yeah, because last two episodes wasn't really actually that much. Let's just move on to these two episodes. <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. If you don't already know, I do have a Patreon where you can get access to all my full-length reactions. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, follow my Twitch, my Instagram, and let's just jump right into these episodes. Let's go. Wait, where's my pen? Oh, okay. <laughs> I always lose my pen. <laughs> それを己の残白党へと変えてゆく。党の関係における根源であり根幹長たちはもちろん。体の残白党もザラキ剣八でさえ朝打ちを手にしている。己の残白党を目覚めさせた死神はただの一人も。オッケー。やり方じゃあい
Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm trying to remember if there's any moment where Matsumoto recognized Ichigo because of his dad. I remember Ukitake recognizing Ichigo because Ichigo looks like Kayan, right? And Kayan and Ukitake were like close. Did Matsumoto have like any moment like that? Mm. Um, okay! So he was squad 10. Alright. This is ah, this is so cool. <laughs> Yushin Shiba. So interesting. They took the mother's family name, right? Oh my goodness! Damn, even Hisugaya. Interesting. Okay. This is I thought Yushin would have been old old, you know? But I think he's quite young. <笑>あ、それの先月分の報告書がさっき上がってきたんですか先月も2年死亡してます。うん。徐々に絞れてきている。気長に行こう。全ては我らの手の上だ。雲が出てきたぜ。前のやつもその前も確か雨の日に死んでんだろ。そうか。いいこと聞いたぞ。おお。便所探してたら迷っちまって。便所探して
ゆうちゃんが<笑> Aizen. Oh, Whoa. That was crazy. Okay. Oh, did you see that though? Like it just like it like <laughs> you know? <laughs> that was cool. すまねえ。助けられたのは私です。ジョーちゃん一体何者だ。私はクインシーだとしたら、私は黒崎正樹、クインシーです。<laughs> <laughs> This is making me like. This soundtrack. What is this soundtrack? Masakiwa Bujida. Monday one animo nakata. Hi. Kaskomarimasta. Ooh, I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> oh. That was the moment Ishin fell in love. Like. <laughs> I see. This man, oh my goodness. This. This man. <laughs> This is his plan all along. <laughs> I mean, technically, it wasn't his plan. But he's like, you know what? Let's just see where this goes. <laughs> oh, what? What? No! That went by so quick. I swear to God. This. Why Why are we moving so fast? <laughs> um, okay. Wow. Alright. Um, uh, I just... Seeing Masaki talk about if she has the opportunity, she'll do what she can, right? I can definitely see where Ichigo has his personality and his like will to like save his friends and family from. Wow, she's like, she has a, such a, I don't know, like a light energy to her, right? But she's like, she feels, she feels strong, you know? And that's, ooh, that's good. We love that. <laughs> This is amazing. I just, I've been waiting for this moment since I started this freaking show. I was so happy we're here. I wrote down it, it, X Quincy's. I don't know how to pronounce it. E C H T. Um, what is that in English? I don't know what X means. Um, but wow. That is what you call love at first sight. Okay, so, so, um, the, the freaking hollow made by the soul reaper's dead body he was kind of transferred into masahi and that's why ichigo's hollow looks similar to this one i guess wow this is crazy this is like i mean i said aizen knew everything right from from the beginning he really knew everything from the beginning <laughs> which i 
I did mention at the end of the Arankar arc because Aizen is not dead, obviously, right? He's still alive. He's just in prison. So I definitely think he will come back. But what the hell is he going to do, you know? What will he do if he comes back? That's that's the problem. But I definitely think Katagiri, is that her name? I, I definitely think Katagiri is Ishida's mother. There's like a vibe going on between Ryuken and her. So I think they hooked up. Or <laughs> but I just wonder what happened to her then, if that is his mother. Um, okay, let's see if there's anything after. Ishida. Oh, uh, that's, um, I, I, I'm calling him Hashi because his name is Hash Vault, something like that, right? All right, that was cool. That was such a good episode. I, oh, you know me, I love flashbacks. <laughs> okay, moving on to episode 12. I really do not want this to end. What the hell, you guys? <laughs> よし。じゃない。書き漏らしはないとして良いのじゃな。特筆すべきことはなかったと。はい、他には何も。あの人無事にソウルソサイティに帰れたかな。名前ぐらい聞いとけばよかった。あの、<笑><笑> いろいろ話しときゃよかったな。もう一回やって。ちりれでも言ってくるかな。いや、ヒンス。うらはら。Okay, yeah, he senses the the hollow in her, I guess. I do wonder how that's going to affect her Quincy powers actually, right? Okairi. まさきさん、話があります。フォローと戦闘を行ったそうですね。嘘は品位を下げるだけよ。片桐。ありました。何旦那様と奥様の手で正式なクイーンシーンが濁ってしまう可能性がありました。そんな理由でそれが全てではない
彼女が死ぬまで片時も彼女の滅かを抑え続ける反する強い力が他にも方法があるだろう芝居心クインシーとホローが混ざり合った存在それと相反するのは死神と人間が混ざり合った存在もうわかるっすねこれがあなたへの選択肢ですまさきさんが生きている限りソンにも永遠に受け継がれていきますあなたは二度と死神には戻れないデメリットしかないじゃないかこんなものわかった<笑><笑>あんた説明が長えんだよやるに決まってんだろうがミレオンはないんすねタラタラよ<笑>ミレンに足を引っ張られて明日の俺は笑うだろうぜ Wow, so that's、oh, That's so crazy That's so crazy that this is how he stopped becoming a soul reaper Wow Wow おめえを守りに来たぜ<笑><笑>おいホロー今もう指一本触れさせねえからな月が転生わーお<笑>あの時の<笑>あー、you can 帰ってお母様に伝えるといい帰りません帰れと言っている生涯のすべてをかけて龍賢様にこの片桐の務めです片桐の人生は龍賢様のものどうか悲しまないでください龍賢様が片桐の心は張り裂けます涙されれば片桐帰ろうはいかしこまりましたまさきはおどなくして石だけを出ることになった霊術院で学んだ医学を生かして小さな診療所を開いた This is so cute! I'm going to go to the house. 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 お前も知ってる通りだお前の中のフォローが解放されたってことはつまりこいつを抑えきれなくなったってことだそのフォローとのつながりは途切れた俺は20年ぶりに死に神を取り戻したんだお前が経験してきたことの中でまだ母さんが死んだ日のことだ、okay. 聞いていけ I will No that was just so I don't know what I'm crying It's just so It's just so sad. Give me a second. I need to get rid of this. It's just so. I just. uh, I'm just crying because it's just so sad that she's not here anymore. You know? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just.、Uh, the soundtrack is too good. The soundtrack really hits you in the feels, you know? My goodness. I. Ah.、Uh, <sighs> He wasn't supposed to die that day. Oh, yeah. 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 I see. 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 Oh, yeah. ありがとな、育美さん。親父、俺、行ってくるよ。はい。以上が。あ、広告の。Okay, yeah, we okay. Hi, <laughs> I'm going to watch the next episode right after this, actually. So I guess there'll be three episodes for you guys this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I just need to. <laughs>
Oh my god, this is the show is so good. Why is this show so good? I love this so much. I love lore. I love learning about shit. I this is this is amazing. This is crazy. I'll talk more after episode 13. The last episode of this part. How are we feeling, guys? I do not want this to end, but I really want to know what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> you guys, I'm so disappointed in myself because I realized only after watching episode 12 that my mic was not connected to my laptop. So the audio was a bit not so crisp. Let's move on to episode 13, the last episode of this part. Um, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I don't know how this is gonna end. I... Let's go. <laughs> Mera. いい面白かったね。今の Okay, okay, let's go. すごいな、隊長。傾向をつけてもらいたい。俺は挽回を奪われた。基礎から期待直したい。愛先生の後、真の挽回と呼べるものになるまで。ああ。いや。前を見るんだ。こんなところに連れてきて、挽回を習得し
Oh, cool. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let's go. <笑>今の方が眩しいんだからグラサン発さなくてよかったんじゃねえかなって炎の色が見えねえだろうかこの朝打ちが白く染まった理由に俺の中のホロみたいだこのホロこそが残白刀だって言ってるんだよ OK the Aizen no Yes, it makes sense! It makes sense! It makes sense! <laughs> I'm so glad they're explaining this because like, I was gonna talk about it, but then they're like explaining it, so I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> but then it also makes sense. Like, I don't know if you guys watched my older reactions, but I did mention how, you know, everybody used to call the white Ichigo Shirosaki because he's white. And he's actually called white. So... <laughs> did not get along, right? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Wait. From a thousand years ago. He looks. It makes sense. <laughs> he looks exactly like him. <laughs> it makes sense. It's like all like the pieces were all like you know, a part in my brain, like, as this was going, I was like, um, 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 and then I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Okay, I get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. お前本当の命の危機に瀕した時お前の命を私ではなく例えるとお前は傷つくだろう私自身の手でお前を殺さねばならなくなるだろうお前は死神への道を歩んでいった その姿を見るたび、音を立てて揺らいだのだ。お前を死神から遠ざけるよりもと傾いていた。私は今こうして、身を引けることに喜びさえ感じている。お前は強くなった。Why is this kind of like sad though?私はと傍らできた。もし幸せがあるものか、満足だ。俺はまだ。what why you ended there <laughs> oh my goodness ザンゲツだザンゲツ俺はあんたが誰だって構わねえあんたもあいつも <laughs> That's so Ore Jisin de Tatakan. Arigato, Sangetsai. Antara.
、俺だ。哎，哎，哇，哦。Hello. Ishida, right? Ishida. よく来た、石田ウリュウ。さあ、共に戦おう。我が息子よ。ああ、ああ、ああ。I'm sorry. I'm just. I now I regret watching this episode because now I just want to jump into the next part. I let's 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 talk. Okay, so I wrote um quite a lot of stuff because a lot happened um these three episodes. But let's just talk about the recent thing that just happened, which is the Yuha reveal. It <laughs> makes sense. It all just. Makes sense. It's like it's hard. I think it's for me at the moment. It's kind of hard to put into words my the thought process that was going through my head during this whole thing because my mind was just like as this was going. I was also trying to like you know piece it together and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, it is crazy. I, I guess it's crazy. The the really funny thing is that they Yuha and you know Yuha but not Yuha look alike. <laughs> But I found that whole like speech he gave to Ichigo about you know him seeing him grow because like yeah he watched him literally grow into this person right into this person with this much power and this much strength right and it's like obviously you'll probably you know feel attachment to him especially because he relied on you you know and everything man I just. Yeah, it just makes it just makes a whole lot of sense why Hollow Ichigo and him did not get along, like right at the beginning, right of the show. I just all that I can say it just makes sense. <laughs> how the hell do you even like as a like as an author? How do you even plan something like this? Like the like the like all the lore and everything. My goodness, I wonder if Kubo. I wonder how his thought process throughout the whole like story story thing. Went, you know, like before he created the story. I wonder how, how he created this story. It'll be interesting to like find out, or if anybody could give me like any fun facts or anything. Um, but yeah, I just wow. And the most other recent thing is Ishida. Showing is one thing, right? But then I also am still curious about how he's feeling about all of this. You know, after learning about his mother, probably his mother, like the whole background. You know, because the reason his mother is dead is because of Yuha, right? I mean, technically, she was already weak at that point when she passed away, but but he did kind of have a part to play in it, which is why I'm like so interested in knowing what the hell is going on in his mind right now because he must feel so conflicted. I don't know if if I were him, I would feel like. What in the hell do I do? <laughs> like this is the man who technically took away my mother, and now I'm working with him. So I wonder if he knows. I don't know if he knows that Ichigo is a Quincy. I had to kind of like rewatch that part because, like I said, it's kind of going by so quick. Um, it's kind of hard for me to process sometimes. But um, I rewatched it, and I guess it is implied that because Ichigo read the book. Right, so he knows about everything. So what I'm curious about is just to know what he's feeling inside right now because of Yuha, Ichigo, his mom. Yeah, I just I I think right now he is the character I am excited to see the most, like progress if that ever happens. <laughs> Hashi, Hashi is. Gorgeous. He is a beautiful. I. Wow. <laughs> This show has a lot of good-looking people. Like I, I'm so sorry, but I just had to, I just had to say it. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the beginning. Um, Squat Ten. Ishin was the captain of Squat Ten. I really don't remember if Matsumoto or Hitsugaya had any moment of like recognition from Ichigo because of Ishin. Ichigo doesn't really look like Ishin, right? 
because Ichigo looks more like Kaien. I just don't remember there being any sense of like recognition. But it was just like the whole Ishin becoming, you know, not being able to use Soul Reaper powers for like 20 years and finally getting back is really crazy. Finally learning about the origin and finally getting the answers that I've been waiting for, you know, is so, I just feel so so good with myself i just feel so satisfied like oh my god i oh my god i know i know now <laughs> and i feel like you guys are probably like she knows she knows <laughs> the whole ishin and masaki circumstance i just ugh, that was just so cute and wholesome the whole time that he was talking about masaki you know the light the sun oh my goodness i i just can't imagine lo losing somebody like that it sucks. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> Masaki and Katagiri. I, okay, let's talk about Katagiri and Ryuken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ryuken! Ryuken is so hot. I, I want him. Can somebody just shut me up? Honestly, like, I should just, I should just shut up. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm just talking about how hot these people are, but I'm just like, Ryuken, the way he slammed Katagiri against the wall like that, oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he, wow. Like, all I wrote, I don't think you can really see it, but all I wrote, Katagiri and Ryuken. Wow. <laughs> That's all I wrote. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the whole thing that Ichigo, uh, that now people calling Hollow Ichigo White Ichigo makes sense. Like, yeah, it it's all it's all connected. It's all connected. I I freaking I freaking love this so much. I love getting answers. Like this reminds me so much of the uh, the visor arc where. You know, I have my theories and everything. When I finally got the answers for the visors, I was just like, Oh my goodness, thank God. It was revealed. <laughs> the one thing I did want to note was Aizen. Aizen has been a schemer since day one. Like, we knew that. But to see him actually in the flashbacks itself is crazy. Because it's like, you can finally place, you know, where he is, what he's doing at that time and stuff. And the fact that, you know, knowing Jin is part of this because he's doing it for Matsumoto. And also because Tosen is doing this because of justice. It's like, goodness, how far we've come. How far we've come from that is crazy. Wow. But Ichigo's new Zanpak too, baby. Uh, pretty cool. Reminds me kind of like... No, no, no. It doesn't remind me of. I'm just saying this because Shunsui is a dual wielder, right? But no, it doesn't really remind me of Shunsui's Zanpakuto. Um, I've seen something like that somewhere before. Um, I'm just trying to remember who it was. Guys, I'm going crazy because his sword reminds me of something, but I just don't know who or what I'm thinking about but it looks like something like this like it's the sword but then it has like the space inside right who has this too I need to know who this is unless it's nobody and I'm losing my mind these three episodes were great what the hell is gonna happen <laughs> what the hell is gonna happen guys I just cut it back to Ishida oh Ishida what's your what's your plan here Ryuken what are you gonna do Ryuken you can, you are hot. Wow. You ha. Yeah, that reveal was great. I really love that reveal. Um, like the progression of the reveal <laughs> was just like the progression of Ichigo being a Quincy, which I really liked. This anime is so good. This story is so good. Kubo, you are a genius. I love this show so much. I want to know what your guys' thoughts were for the Yuha reveal. I just kept on laughing because I was just like, wow, it like, wow. <laughs> like manga readers, what did you think, you know, about the Yuha reveal in the manga? Um, I wonder how that went. <laughs> it's great because it everything is connected. Everything makes sense. And, I, and I'm and i just like, finally, thank God, 
finally we have the pieces in place so now we fight now we go to war okay let's go <laughs> but yeah that was my reaction to these three episodes to finish off this part of bleach thousand year blood war arc um i don't know what's in store for me for the second part i i just don't think i'm ready i just don't think i'm ready so yeah i guess if you didn't already know i do have a patreon where you can get access to all my full-length reactions and if you did like this video give it a thumbs up follow my twitch my instagram i'll see you guys in the next one bye